Alright guys, what's going on? Got another one for you. Brimstone split, silver two. And let's get started. How's it going? Hey, what's up man? What's going on? Alright. Uh, excited. Happy to get some some review, man. Yeah, this is we're gonna we're gonna see some things. I'm I'm sure we will. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, are you inside my stream right now? Yep. Yeah, okay, I'm watching. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So before I get into this video, what are some concerns you have about your own game uh, play, and what do you think is holding you back? So I would say that um, oftentimes what I struggle with is uh, knowing when to be aggressive. Okay. Um, some, sometimes I'm over aggressive and I get picked for it, uh, yep. where I'm like storming in too quickly. Sometimes I lag behind when we're pushing a site. Okay. Um, you'll, you'll probably see some of that in this where I'm playing, um, a quick rotation and, uh, just like sprinting back and forth between the sites. And then I like get onto site and just immediately get picked because I'm not prepared. Okay. We'll, we'll take a look at that. I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to point out lots of things. Um, First thing I'm noticing right here, which might be a problem, is the size of your minimap. So, this is bad for one reason, is that when action happens on parts of the map, you can't see it. You can see like a red arrow, right, that says like, bad guy spotted, bad guy spotted. Yeah. But you don't know exactly where it is. So then now you're relying on either you hitting M or your teammates telling you exactly what's going on. But having the minimap um, show almost all of the site is very advantageous for you because you don't have to rely on teammates for some information. Because like if you see a red arrow right now, right, you don't know if it's at the beginning of pushing into A or already on a right like it's you're guessing so yeah so i part of the reason why i set this up originally is i found myself looking at the mini map all the time and trying like it took me too long to sort of look at it and understand what i was looking okay. at and where okay. i was looking so i made it really big so i, gotcha. I can just glance at it so what i have an advice for you right now is to slowly zoom it out over time Right. So like okay, every solid. time you launch the game, maybe, you know, change that number by one increment until it reaches um, to where you could almost like see either the whole map or like just barely parts are cut off. So, so you slowly adjust to it over time. Right. Yeah. So nice. not the biggest of deal, but it's it's worth it's worth uh, switching to it. So I love I love the armor three smokes by very good. Very good. Why? Because you open up opportunities, make pushes safe, and you can execute good plays and armor to keep you alive. Very good. Okay, so... Um, you see how you're doing this half run, half walk? Yeah. So the second you run, they hear it, right? They know where you are. The gig is up. You're now spotted mid. Not spotted mid, but they know you're there. So now walking has almost zero benefit for you. Right? So it's either um, you, be decisive, right? Either okay. you're running the whole time or you're walking the whole time. But since your phoenix is walking the whole time, that's a good indicator that you should also be walking the whole time. Gotcha. So now, they saw phoenix, and they heard footsteps. So now they know that two are mid. So now there's zero point in walking from this point on. Unless you completely change your position. So good, good movement. Not bad. Out. 
Okay, so um, we can already see uh, an issue, right? So uh, this is an issue with everyone, so don't take it as um, attacking you or anything. That crosshair yeah, placement. Yeah, no worries. Um, crosshair placements uh, very difficult to master, and especially at different elevations because there's a staircase right here, you know. So, um, so right here is where your crosshair is, right? About here is head level. So we're we're gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video a lot, and I'll I'll always ask you if they do peak whatever you're watching, where are your bullets gonna go? So is that sort of like a um, just a a, a you learn over time thing? Yeah, yeah. Because I really struggle knowing like how tall the character model is. Yes, uh, that's that's from playing these angles all the time, but actively adjusting. Right, so it's like you have to catch yourself. So the the best way to do it is ask yourself where are the bullets going, and when you when you do die or when they do swing and you are shooting them, after the duel, be like, "Fuck, my crosshair was too low there." So next time, I'm gonna aim a little higher. Right, you right. don't just go on autopilot mode. You um, want to actively be thinking about your crosshair placement, and sometimes you'll go a little high or go a little too low. But next time, you'll calibrate it even a little. Next time, you'll calibrate it even more, right? Until it's where you want it to be. See, like where where, where do you end up aiming when they are finally peeking out, right? Like at their at their waist. Yeah. And you get that kill, but right if he because he was low HP, but if he was full HP, you might have even still gotten that kill because you shot his head. Good play by the breach. I love it. Nice try. One enemy Get remaining. Okay, so here's a predicament, right? So what did you buy pistol round? Uh, armor and smokes. Correct. Here they are, all three of them, doing nothing for you, right? So mid. You want to always think about your smokes as you smoke one side, take the other. Big trend with brimstone is you smoke things you don't want to watch and you look at the things you didn't smoke. Okay, so to make this safer and your, your mid take a lot easier for you, smoke one side, attack the other. So you don't risk getting flanked and shot in the back. Right? It doesn't necessarily yeah. matter which way. You can smoke heaven, attack ropes, just choose one, attack the other. That makes sense, right? So mm -hmm. you want to make it a lot more safer for yourself. Nice try. Block the vision. Because here, right, see a bad guy. But there is nothing stopping another bad guy coming from here. This would be a good peek if this is if this is smoked off. But since it's not smoked off, and the utility sitting on your uh, hot bar or whatever, this is too too aggressive, and too uh, risky, too gambly, right? Right. One enemy. It's a good kill. Now you have time to back off, reposition, and then actually execute one of the smokes again, and attack the other side. And now, here's another thing. In this situation, how many teammates alive? On, how many players are alive on both teams? Right? One, two. But, where's your second teammate? Right? Yeah. So, is this actually a 2v1? No, I just forced the 1v1. Exactly. You are not playing to your advantage of having an extra teammate. So this is a too aggressive play. When you have the numbers advantage, you want to use it. Because if you don't utilize it correctly, then you are just in a 1v1 scenario for no reason. So before making an aggressive play like that or continue to take more ground, because this play isn't bad, right? But you yeah. need you need all the 
pieces to the puzzle. So just waiting a little more, you know, smoking, and then attacking something together. Because now you're forcing your teammate into a 1v1 situation that you hope he wins. Last player stand. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of I was hoping but 10 HP, right? So risky, so easily losable. Keep them like that. off balance. Okay, so here, heavy armor, good. Love to see it. Spectre, utility. Any of you guys queued together? Come on, come on, click it. You got it, you got it, click it. Click it. Uh, I'm with Vortex. I'm, I'm thinking about it. So at this point, I'm thinking about where I'm gonna go and the engages I'm gonna take okay. and smart. which weapon. Smart, smart. So be yeah, because I, I think I'm gonna go potentially long here. Um, I'm actually gonna switch to the Ares. Okay, yeah, uh, that's that's perfect. Perfect thinking. Perfect. Uh, perfect mindset. Hit them fast. Hit them hard. How much money do you have left over? Uh, probably not too much. Um, I didn't have to buy any utility, but Heavy Armor Ares is gonna clean me out. You see that number down there? Yeah, no full buy. 1,000. Two stim packs, one molly. Because, actually, the best part about Brimstone's kit... Yeah, it probably still is the smokes, but very close second is his stim packs. You'd be surprised, and I, I, you probably know this about uh, Brimstone's stim packs, but some people do not, that the effect lingers, right? Yeah, for like four seconds after you yes. run out of the AoE. So, you want to be using two around. That attack speed buff is insane, right? If you're rushing a bomb site, right? Let's say you're rushing B, okay? You're rushing B. You're dropping a stim pack right here. You're like the third one in. And you drop it right here, right before you rush in. You get all five of your teammates that stim pack, and you take the site like a boss, right? So, um, I, I'll probably see a trend of underuse of the stim packs. Yeah, I recently stopped actually buying it to save because I was running out of money uh, most rounds. Yep. So I figured I would just save on stim okay. because I wasn't using them too much anyways. Or when I did use them, I was using them really, really poorly. Okay. And it felt like wasted money. Yeah. Um, so the, the correct uh, route is to find out how to use them effectively and um, your molly as well, right? So spend money on them all the time. Keep using them because it'll, it'll teach you how to use them properly. Don't be scared to learn, right? Yeah, definitely. All right. So let's get into it. Fine, I like this. This is good team play. I like it. Nice! You wanna go A or C B? Okay, so. Enemy down. So here's here's a, a a little problem. Do you remember how I said about the philosophy of brimstone smoke? Yeah. Smoke one, take the other. So, this smoke right here, it forces you guys to run through it if you do kill someone there, right? If you are executing B, which I uh, assume you guys are. And always remember that running out of a smoke is a disadvantage for the most part. So you don't ever want to be running through your own smokes. So just right. try, try to remember the philosophy of... Smoke one, take the other. Always, always, always. I, I think the idea here was to smoke off the connector from CT. Um, oh, here? And just because I felt like we were panic rushing, I didn't okay. really this place is, it very well. This is a one million times better smoke, right? Because you're not running through it and you're cutting off this angle, which is very common. Right. Played. So yeah, I wanted smoke, to like clear the path for us to hit B. Okay, so yeah, this... If, if the smoke was right here, I would say very good, very smart, love it. This could be... So yeah, this is good. Now you're forced to... Oh, thank God for the smoke right there, actually. But you're forced to run through it. It's fine, it's fine. 
It should be like a clear sky. Uh -huh. You drop your gun. <laughs> One enemy <remaining>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my plant button is right next to my I get you, uh, I get drop you, right? weapon. <laughs> I need to unbind that. It's so bad. Or move it. You know I'm about to ask, right? Oh, yeah. If yeah, I'll be shooting you, knee kneecaps on this Where one. are you shooting them? Nope. You're ready to take out their legs. Coming from spawn. And you probably don't notice while you're in game, but looking back at it, you're like, wow. I actually, when I actively think about my crosshair placement, it really is like super low, right? Yeah, it's something that I've been really trying to work on too. Um, it's hard. It's hard for yeah, sure. It, it really is, especially yeah, in the you. moment too. Yeah. Because it's not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect overnight just because you're aware of it being bad. So. Um, it's, it's something that takes a long time for it to perfect. So don't, you know, beat yourself up about it, but it's the difference between a headshot and a body shot, right? One left standing. He's good. Don't waste time. Just shoot down this wall. Good, it's good. Watch your hard left. Sage, yeah. Oh, I hate this one. I think this is one. Do you see how like you guys are kind of putting yourselves in a pickle because you're yeah. you're leaving yourself uh, too many angles you are exposed from. So it easily fixed by smoke one, take the other mentality, right? Yeah, definitely. Kneecaps. <laughs> So in this situation, we're kind of just stalled out in mid there um, and not really pushing. If I do the like the smoke one, take the other, like that kind of forces us on a route. Exactly. Right? Alleviates that problem. Exactly. And you make the calm like, I'm smoking ropes, let's take heaven. Right? Like the, the, the calling strats and calling stuff, you don't have to be 500 IQ strat, uh, strats because it's super simple because that is a strat right there. Smoking ropes. Rush heaven. Simple. And if everyone does it, it's great. Because it's good. So make the call out, right? Smoke one, take the other. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. You can you can climb very high just by doing that every single what game. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! What a shot! Yeah. One's on hell. Yeah, the... Who is this man? Yeah, yeah. That is an insane yeah, flick. Last guy on... Okay. Yeah, the practice range does something for me at least. Yeah, 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 they drop. Why'd you die here? Yeah, one's on hell. Yeah. Uh, didn't smoke. Correct. Yeah. Right smoke side. one, take the other. Yeah, 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 they drop. Last guy on uh, heaven. Stop him. Oh, it, it hurts me. It hurts me seeing the, the the no stim packs, right? Because it's so good. Once you once you learn how to utilize them very well, and you just drop them all the time, oh my! God. You shred people. You'll start winning duels like left and right because you're just shooting faster. Phantom becomes a machine gun. Such an important tool for good stuff. But I yeah, I have I have confidence have in you that, that you're gonna revisit it and try to incorporate it incorporate it in every single round like right here dropping a stim pack for both of us before we run in yeah this is about to be oh, the worst sorry, play you'll bad. see this game though yeah. oh oh no one checked close right yeah oh. i saw the phoenix peeking right and thought it was clear but he was behind the ice wall oh i'm sorry about that not really your fault that's just unlucky a little right <laughs> So it's not too bad. Sure. I wouldn't beat myself up if I thought that. Cage triggered. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yep. 
Because you just assumed it was clear because Phoenix kind of looked over there, right? Didn't see anything, so. Yeah. Uh, not really anything to say about it. Stuff like that happens all the time. So, when you have your ult, now you're thinking you need to use it as fast as possible. Because how many different ways can you get ult orbs? Let's count them, right? Killing, gathering them, dying, planting, all these different ways to get ult orbs. But every time you keep your ult up, they're wasted. All the ult orbs are just wasted, right? So you want to be like, oh, okay, I have my ult this round. How can we make a play with my ult? So what do you think are good spots to ult uh, with Brimstone on this map? To make something happen? On, yeah. What, what, are some, so what are some good spots you think? Uh, uh, one you'll see me hit later is Vents. Uh, like where ropes is, yeah, so yeah. if I hear them start rotating because they get trapped in there. Perfect. Um, I'll ult to like prevent a push if I'm on defense. Um, okay. Sometimes I'll ult uh, ramen like right away to yep. try and yep. prevent them from pushing Very out good. of there. Very good. Yeah. These are good stuff. So, um, the brimstone ult has the same mentality as your smokes. Ult somewhere, take the other. Because during your whole time, the ult is going off, they can't be there, right? So that covers your flank, kills anyone trapped in there, and, um, like, literally makes it impossible for people to come through there. Smokes are good, but they can still walk through it if, you know, they can be sneaky about it. But this is like an ultra super smoke. So, a mid play, right? You ult ropes, take heaven. Ult heaven, take ropes, right? It's even more effective than your smokes, and it opens up the map and gets you into places. Like if you're taking A, you can ult sight, you can ult heaven, you can ult top of ramps, and then take the opposite. So there's many different things, or you can save it for post plant, right? That's what most of the brimstone players do. They save it for when you plant the bomb and you're defusing and you're hiding and you ult on top of the bomb. But those situations don't come as often as you think. So you're saving yeah, your ult until rare. Christmas and um, not using it to open up the map effectively. So, I mean, I'm not saying that you aren't doing this yet because you just, like, just got your ult. So I'm just saying before we continue that this is like the the old mentality. You could have good yeah. old mentality. I'm just like kind of talking about it out loud. Yeah, no, it, it's really important to like be aware of those things because even if I know it, it exactly. still is good to reiterate because it helps really drive the point home. Exactly. So yeah, you could you could already know it, but I, I want you to, to know the importance. All right, so. Mid control, A control, this looks fine. I think you do it. I think you do it. Uh, One heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Oh. yeah, if you played a little slower and you like thought about it through, because she pre walls mid every round, right? Yeah. So like I didn't even think about that. Exactly, right. So you want to think about um what utility they still have or what is going to stop you from doing this play. So before I would do a play like this, I would probably wait for her ice orbs and the wall to be down. So I would sit around and kind of bait those abilities out and then make a play like that. But um So, you know, I said you want to make sure that you can't be pushed from the place you're ulting. It is this play of ulting this like uh, trap spot is if you hear them ropes and very situational. It's better to ult the entirety of this room so they can't hide in this little crevice 
and still be effective as a mid player. Gotcha. Right. So when you want to when you want to go for a kill here, you need to be like damn sure you hear the ropes. Right side is. Now yeah, you're playing a little too slow. Unfortunately. I hear him. That guy just baited you so hard, unreal. I'd be so mad. Look how this breach is holding behind, right? Yeah. <laughs> God, he is putting you on this fishing pole. Unlucky. He must have heard that guy walking by too, like. He did, and all he did was make the call out. He didn't. He didn't actually see what, um, you know, the danger was of you not. You know, you're being exposed to him. He's watching your back, but he's not actually watching your back. He's just in the back. So unlucky, unlucky. Should we try A this time or no? I say we try A, yeah. See, it's good that you try, even though, like, the ult wasn't as, like, successful. It's good that you tried. It's good that you're constantly gaining ult orbs. You don't want to keep that cooldown up. So it's good. Uh, you get some... Glad to see that. Do anything. Do anything. There's a Sobey arrow coming. Alright, don't make noise then. Don't even place a can. Psych. Probably gonna ult and then run. Come on, let's go! There's zero. I knew it. Oh, he's just running from me. He can go inside. Out of charges. Heaven, CT. Perfect! Yeah, he all the way from me. He's in ladders now. Now, in a situation where your Phoenix isn't no. ulting, um, how how are we gonna use the smoke mentality to take A? Uh, yeah, I would probably have to. Yeah, usually what I'll do is that'll be the third smoke, right? If we're gonna rush on a site, you'll do one ramps. Yep. Good. Smoke one, take the other. Simple, right? And not all the times when you go A, you actually have to go into A. You can smoke one being A and take ramps and take heaven control because heaven can lead to ropes to B, CT to B, or you can attack A from multiple angles now. So you can call the strat where you smoke ramps, just barrel into A, that's fine. But you can also mix it up and do the opposite. And if you remember how how strong it is to smoke one, take the other, just running from then me, you'll do, do really well. Charges. Yeah, he ran all the way from me. He's in ladders. But with your Phoenix ulting, then you know it's fine. Now you don't have to smoke give me one because he's, give me heal, he's heal. getting all the info and he's not. Right here, right here. Love this play. Love it. On the money. Uh oh, we're making a mistake now. So why would why would this be a mistake? Well, yeah. That is, but uh, it's deeper than that. Um, I'm mainly looking at positioning because instant reloading is um, a bad habit and you can kill people with three bullets. <laughs> so um, it's a bad habit to get out of. And if you do want to reload, you know, hide and then peek again. But why do you think this play right now is too aggressive? Because uh, we have sight control. Okay. Maybe. Um not what I'm looking for uh, after killing this guy what happens uh, I mean that he gets the call out right and the team knows where I am perfect now your aggressive flank and sneaky play is vulnerable because now they're gonna be pre aiming they're gonna be ready you could be double peaked and um, you're put in a bad situation if you never want the enemy to know where you are, right? Right. So pretend so, as if when you right. open up here on this guy, after you kill him, you're like, nice, my play has worked. Now give it up, right? Yeah. Because pretend like you just got Cypher ulted after, after killing this guy. Now they know exactly where you are. Sorry, I cut you off. You're going to uh, ask something? Oh yeah, right before this, there was a Cypher ult as well, and it didn't show anyone else down the long haul. 
so. Oh, maybe I missed that. So maybe I'm just talking shit. Back. Ran all the way from me. He's in ladders now. Give me, give me heal, give me heal, give me heal. Hi, Dave. I put that. Where's the heal? Give me two. Right here. On the money. Okay. So, so maybe, maybe, may yeah. So that other person could have still been there, but he could have been off your mini map, right? Yeah. So another reason why this uh, t small mini map is uh, a little problem. So, but yeah, you, so you know you're relatively safe. So not the worst play, not worse as as bad as I thought. But you went. Oh, turns out he is there. Right. You, right. You couldn't yeah. see him. So now he double knows where you are, and that guy pays for your sins. <laughs> Actually, that's not even the Sova. That's Phoenix. So now you know there's two here. And that was the original concern of continuing this flank. Right, yeah. Right? So the gig is up. What you, you did a sneaky play to get a flank kill. Mission accomplished, right? Time to go back home. <laughs> so should I post up and try and like get them as they peek around the corner? Or do I just leave and like abandon that spot completely and go hold a different angle somewhere else? Correct. You don't okay. want to be predictable. Because if you do hold a corner like this, after killing him, they're going to be ready for it. They're going to pre-aim you. Or they're going to swing with two people on you. Because they know you're there. Right? So you can, you can maybe like maybe back off and hold this angle but they're going to be expecting it they're going to be ready you could go back to site and just play with your teammates because you've your gamble play paid off now it's only going to not pay off if you get killed because of it right right so you don't want to make your good play turn into an even trade Kneecaps Destroyer is back. <laughs> Fires out. Uh. Down. So that's a pretty good smoke. That makes your situation a lot better. And it's good that you're watching the smoke to... Um, punish the people trying to walk through it because like I said walking through smokes is very disadvantageous Fires out. now a problem with spay spraying through smokes is if you do not change your position they will eventually find where you're shooting from you did um, do uh, not with the silencer ones right because there's no tracers through smoke that's true but um yeah that's uh, that's just true unfortunately um even still if he's spraying like right to left and i'm not moving eventually he's gonna come across me, it's right? just it's this just kind of like a scary situation where um it's it's just you know flipping a coin who kills each other if you both are spraying through a smoke and you you just want good movement when when you are spraying through smokes right or you like you burst through the smoke or change your position burst a little through the smoke change your position empty out your clip and then hide it is a yeah. little unlucky. You did lit him for 148. So I wouldn't say you necessarily did anything wrong. I would just be yeah. a little more Look at cautious. where all those bullets are, though. Five yeah. in his yeah. feet. Exactly, right? So if a little more better crosshair placement, you would have actually killed him. Even through the smoke, crosshair placement is important, right? So I wouldn't necessarily yeah. say you did anything wrong here. It's just um, be a little uh, aware of your movement inside of a smoke. Cool. Thank you. So, all in all, this was a very good round for you. You played it really well. You got three kills, basically. So, it's good stuff, but you can obviously see where um, things could go wrong or things could go differently or make it make yeah. it safer. Yeah, actually get the 3K, get the 4K instead of just being content with the two that I got. Exactly. I'll stay, really played slow or I'll stay low on... Yeah. Nowhere to run! One's ladders, I think they're rotating, eh? Back and you up mid. Smoke's down! Out of here! Oh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um... 
this is this is the the crouch uh like panic mentality that a lot of people have right you see someone you immediately go into crouch mode and start shooting and um at this range right standing up bursting counter strafing another way bursting again is your movement is just sick and your bursts are cleaner and your more bullets are hitting them so um it's it's difficult to get out of this habit um i don't know if you actually watch the efficient practice range drills yeah um i go into great detail about how movement not getting headshot is just as important as landing the headshot and in in the practice range i emphasis um heavy on practicing your counter strafes burst a little move burst a little move right so if you did that against this guy you would have easily killed him because he's mi mi he's missing all of his shots and you're crouching standing still right imagine if you were just standing up and moving a little this guy wouldn't hit you once and so i i do have something to say about this smoke right here is that one's ladders i think they're rotating a Back and this is a smoke that the defensive team would do because they are denying mid from you or is your intention here to deny mid from them so they don't walk through it yeah i think it was that i wanted to block that off and maybe back out or push across okay and prevent them from coming down um but yeah the positioning of it is kind of weird and okay. obviously, it doesn't stop the brimstone. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, that's that's there's nothing you can really do about him pushing through the smoke. It's it's fine. It's just like, um, you gave up lots of map control with B and uh, mid, because you guys are kind of like heavy A. So stuff like this will happen, and like they will push mid if it's free, and they will push B if it's free, and. Um, a smoke like that won't necessarily stop them if they think your whole team is A. But um, most of the time, this smoke aids the defensive team because the enemy brimstone does the smoke anyway, right? And smoke's down. Out of oh, oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, with a little bit of uh, better movement and burst control, you could have probably killed both of them. I I'm pretty confident about that. Need a quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. They smoke mid. Molly. Run, yeah, run, run. Yeah, they're using a lot of utility here. I just got shorted. Your patience paid off. Yeah, I could, it's because I could, I could hear him kind of like stomping around up That's there good. a little bit. That's good. Very good patient play. It was really worth it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm making a note right here. Check corners to kill, not to say you did. <laughs> All right. So before, let's say there's not even a guy there. If you could go back in time to this play, what would you have done differently? Uh, make sure I just check like. Okay. Well, okay. Smoke vents, right? So I don't have to check that and then make sure I clear the corner completely. Perfect. Right. So I tell this a lot of people, you don't just check corners to say you did or half ass like swing your mouse over, right? You want to check corners as if you are ready to kill them there. Right? You don't want to give a half ass look. Because even if you give a half ass look and they actually are there, you're dead. Because you're not Yeah. You're not checking the corner to kill. A good practice is every corner you are checking, pretend as if there's someone there in that corner. Like, 
Like, really try to convince yourself that someone will be there. Unlucky. And right, you died with your ult. That, and it, it could have, it could have changed, you could have won that round right there. Yeah. We're doing good for attacking. Yeah, you guys are doing pretty well. I agree. Right. Oh, I'm hitting back, fuck. Through to it. Heaven. Nice, nice. Break these. You gotta remember, you gotta remember you have to take notes of the enemy's patterns. Right? She pre-walls it every time. You don't want to waste utility until you are ready to actually push. Yeah, give it time, yeah. Especially when the enemy team has a Sage playing mid, you really want to get that utility from her before you try any big play. So right now, how what ability does the Sage have left? Uh, she should have one more slow orb. Exactly. Okay, no one more back there. Shit. Oh, unlucky. That's unlucky. Nothing you could have done there. So, uh, why, why do you think more back there? sitting right here, shooting through the smoke, is generally a bad idea? Well. If they recognize I'm shooting from there, they probably know the spot that I'm shooting from. Exactly. So they can shoot back. It's so easy for them to line up uh, that headshot angle because there's only one place you could be is in that tiny corner, right? I mean, you could be somewhere else, but every time someone will pre-fire or shoot through smokes, it's always going to be under the assumption that they're sitting right where you're sitting. Right. So... Don't treat the smokes as impenetrable walls of defense for you. Have still have decent movement and be ready to uh, be in odd spots. Because when I do, whenever I do spam a smoke, I make sure that they don't have a clue where I am, or they can't like this or this. Those are hundred percent pre-fired spots. If it's smoked off, right? They're not gonna randomly shoot here. I mean, uh, right here, right? They're going to be looking to line up with the top of the box and to really, like, hit the corners. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Shit. Unlucky. Flank from A. I say we save one. Smart, smart, this is a good save. You guys have to sell everything. Save it, save it, save it. Nice. Yeah. Bomb over here. Pick it up. Perfect. I love these smokes. Smoke's down. See? See how strong it is? Right? Down. There's even a guy. There's even a guy ramp. Smoking one, taking the other. You have a classic oh, and no I didn't armor. Even see him. Oh, you didn't see him? Yeah, there's totally a guy there. I mean, I, I saw the, the arrow come down, but I didn't see him when I ran out for this mm -hmm. fight. There's even a guy there. And it doesn't matter. You have a classic, no freaking armor. Who cares? He has a full gun. He's going to either have to rotate or push through your smoke or spam through it and wish for the best, right? Smoking one, taking the other is so strong and will work and work miracles for you. He even wrecked this guy. This is free A. Open up the sky. Good old. I love it. But you don't necessarily want to stack your um, abilities together. For example, Remember how I said that your ult is like a super smoke? Yeah, I already had heaven smoked. Exactly. So, what you're doing with your ult is hoping that it just kills someone. Imagine if... So you know that you guys are making lots of noise at A. Um, where are they rotating from? Yeah, thence, right? Right. So, 
that's when you'd use an ult like this if you're looking to kill, right? Yeah. Or, you can even see right after, too, when the Cypher ults, they're in vents. Yeah. Um, if you just waited, use your smoke to the full um, duration, and then use your ult just a little smarter, or um, try to, you know, just think a little with your ult and the, the, the get the most effectiveness out of it. You could have either A, waited for your heaven smoke to clear, so they walked into heaven and now they're peeking it, and then you ult that and then they're trapped up there, and you kill them. Or you get the rotators, like you said. I so yeah, yeah. There was two people in vents. Look at them. Oh, they'd be fucked. Okay. So, same play, same play. Oh, that's here. a gap shit. This is good. I like this a lot. Perfect. You see what you just did here? You see that? Yeah. You were like, I don't want to shoot their belt. I don't want to add more belt loops, belt holes. I want to shoot them in the head. This, what you did right here, is what you should do for every single corner you're looking at. You stop to think about where your crosshair is. And if you do that every single time, see, it, you have the ability to do it. This is now good crosshair placement, right? If you do this realization every single time for every corner you're peeking you're gonna be a monster a little high right yeah but the snap down is easier than the snap up i think i think that's a little preference but um but it doesn't matter if it's a little high or a little low it's the fact that you're actively changing it because next time when you're in this position, you'll be like, oh, I aimed too high last time. I'm going to aim a little lower. So you're constantly calibrating yourself to having good crosshair placement for these familiar angles. I hit a 104 right there. Perfect. Why is this good? Remember how the, how the first play went? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm backing out because I killed him and I know that they're probably going to be pushing that same direction. Exactly, because they know where there. you are. Don't give them the advantage of knowing your position. Constantly keep your opponents on their toes. Don't let them pre-aim you. Don't give them any sort of leg up. She's probably healing. Yeah, I hear it. See, she wasn't even ready for that. Down you go. What happened, right? You stayed too long in this position. This phoenix creeped up on you, surprised you. He was he was hunting you. Right? Yeah, he knew. He knew. He knew. You didn't switch up your position, and he was ready for you. So a little unfortunate, but um, but you understand now. So and this was a very good round for you. You played very well. Three three kills, just about. But even more, like this is this could have been maybe an ace for you, right? If you stayed alive, yeah. repositioned, and attacked different ang angles. Ladders breach, or not breach? Because now you are in a two v. This is a two v two situation. One one right, one left. But is it really a two v two situation? <laughs> no, it's a one v two. Yeah, that breaches. One v two. One v two. They're not playing together. This is very dangerous. Last player standing. What happened, right? Collapsed on, pincered. This is that good teamwork from them. They use their numbers together. 1v2, 1v2. That's exactly what you want to avoid, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, I feel like we're, we're learning a lot here and this is very good. Ah, uh, every- oh god. Rough, rough, rough. I ended up losing that round, right? Yeah. So maybe- I mean, I'm not saying that you have to kill five every round, but how <laughs> It'd easy, be nice though, right? It would be nice though, but th those are situations where you could have easily killed maybe one more. And maybe they would have won that 2v1 if you would have killed the Phoenix, or if you repositioned and you stayed alive. Dude, 
You see how concerned you are about ramp? This could easily be avoided by sticking to the plan, sticking to the motto. Yeah, I've been trying not to use smokes immediately. It's it's bad to use smokes immediately if you get nothing from it. It's not bad to use smokes if you gain something from it. So what would you gain if you smoked ramp? Yeah, I mean, we have better control as we better push control. out. Better control. Can actually focus on Safer. the breach that's there. Everyone's looking this way. No one is looking this way and splitting your aim. So... It's like hurting your teammates. Exactly. Exactly. And apes strong together. <laughs> <laughs> so this is good. This is teamwork. Shooting one person with There's two people. Some vents. This is what you want to do every single time. Center. Get trade frags. Good teamwork. As he's walking in, what do you want to be doing? Smoking. Pushing. I don't know. Pushing with him. Yeah. Getting the trade frag. If he dies to the guy to the left, are you in a position to where you can trade him? No, I'm not. No, you're too far away. Yes, I that's I did. So that's good. That's good. This looks pretty clean. Team. Your team, I don't know where the fuck your teammates are, but you they need to get to A right now. My Everyone, clinic. like... Is this really a 5v3? Cypher, Sage, you, right? And this guy, who knows where he is? Yeah. This is like trying so hard not to work together I've ever seen. <laughs> oh no, what is happening, right? They're playing in positions where it's impossible to trade frag and you're just dropping like five. Now it's an even, even fight. But even then, is it actually even? No, you are holding A by yourself. You don't want to be these guys. It's you're, you're play. You're not. You're not doing anything wrong right here, right? You're playing the bomb. You're on the bomb site. You're holding it down. But you don't want to be, I'm making an example out of these guys, I'm not harping on you, I'm saying you don't yeah. want to be these guys. You want to play with your teammates, play the numbers game. Play time, play time. I'm There's gonna... obviously times where you can do flanks and sneaky plays, obviously they always have their place, because they're very good to do, but when everyone yeah, is doing I mean, it... Guys right here too, just exactly. because you're so out of position. Exactly. Try to get to you guys as soon as possible. Behind scary, scary. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, I'm not really, uh, you got caught with your smoke out. Could have just ran. Oh! Oh no! If this guy watched my video and practiced bursting, moving, bursting, moving, he would have killed those guys easily, right? You don't want to be the icy bad guys, press my control button, turn into a duck, and spray. It's not what you want. No. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they're not looking at you and you have the time to take your time and line up your shots and get a good burst on both of them. So this 5v3, it was a 5v3, was the freest round I've ever seen in my entire life. Turn into a fat L because you guys did not play together. Last round. Now, just because you did the right thing doesn't mean you couldn't have said, "Hey guys, uh, let's just play the bomb. Come, come to site. Like play together. Get the trade frags, right? Don't push out by yourselves. Yeah. Come, come to site. Come a, come a. I just planted, right? Everyone, get get in here. Just watch your corners and play safe. Before the switch. So. And if they don't listen, they don't listen. There's nothing you can do. Fuck it. Woo! We see the stim beacon. They are online. Last round? Fuck it. We got some money. Let's buy the stim beacons.
Yeah, so I just comped to them here that I was gonna um, make a little bit of noise and then head mid. Okay. Because we okay. had been pushing A so much. Okay. It's not um, it's not necessarily a bad strategy, but um, as your character, it's so teamwork uh, based and team reliant that you can stim pack your whole team and you can smoke your uh, team places that someone to make this play wouldn't necessarily be you. You want to be with your team yeah. always. This is like okay. uh, this is like a phoenix. Either like a Phoenix kind of play or a Cypher kind of play, right? But Breach, Family Man, Team Player, Sage, Team Player, Brimstone, Team Player. This is the core of your team. So this isn't really making noise. This is looking for a pick and kind of lurking. This is this is what a lurker would be doing and so like right now your team is like they slurped here attacking somewhere but it's they're having a hard time because you don't have the smokes for them you don't have stim beacon to aid, aid them in their yeah. duels and you don't have mollies to close off some corners so you really want to be Brimstone's playing with your team as a brimstone left. you will not kill my ally. smoke one take the other yes yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Whoa! No! No! If your goal is to get this ult orb, how do you make it as safe as possible? Don't be scared to use smokes, right? Because yeah. it's only a waste if you gain nothing from it. Would you trade two smokes for your ult? Yeah. Of I'm course you would. Right. Of course you would. So don't be scared to make this ult orb Getting the ult orb is the play here, right? Because you're only one away. Make it as safe as possible for you. Because this... Yeah, and for my teammate that just got picked behind me too. He has paid for your sins. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been you. Yeah. Look there! Off your feet! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, he how hit him for one point. Yeah, he was so aggressive. Yeah, cause he just ulted, right? Yeah. In what universe does a breach ult and not run after it to harvest the the kills? Here, like, I mean, after that ult, I'm probably just trying to get the fuck out of here, right? After getting this ult orb. And that guy dying, I'm running to my team, right? I yeah, I it. just worried about the Sova still peeking you. Me. Yeah, yeah. You Although just... I guess the breach ult probably would have cleared him out of there, right? Actually, yeah. That that's a good that's a that's a good thought. But I probably wouldn't have even thought of that on the spot. I would just kind of pull out my knife, do some insane serpentine jump bunny hop <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. get back here. So. Just to, just to regroup with my team, because now you got what you wanted, the ult orb, and now you're going to get out. You're not going to open up A here. End up getting caught by flashes and pretty unfortunate. Looks pretty grim, 2v3. Now it's a 1v3. Yep. Goes out as you expected. Fall it off first. B. B is better for Cypher, though. B so is better like, for Cypher, Literally, yeah. he could guard B by himself if he comes. Yeah, I'll go A. Love the buy, like I said earlier, but what? But how do you make sure that this is a good buy? Uh, make sure I use them. Perfect. What's the most important round of the game? Uh, the clutch, thirteen <laughs> overtime. No, the pistol round, right? Pistol round. Why? Yeah, it, it gets you too, because you it get gets the, you, you too. Get momentum. Perfect. So do everything in your can. Uh, everything you can to make the eight hundred dollars you spend on pistol round efficient, worth it. Everything you can. Get the W. The mid. I hear him here. I hear him Double here. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, they're up ramps. Okay. Dude, all of them rush out. See ya. That's fine. I like that play of smoking off. Scary. Scary angle, right? 
look at all these places that are looking here. And even maybe Raptors, but probably not. Um, so a very good thing to always keep in mind when you are peaking an angle or you're about to peak an angle is to make sure that the only thing you are peaking is the only thing that the threat is. Right? So gotcha. if we go back just a little. See ya. Dude, all of them are tight. So when you peak this, what is your threat? Just ramps, right? Yeah. What you're looking at. Yeah. So this is a good peak. This is what you want for every single one of your peaks. That's the mentality always. So what I would do, take it a little slower. You hear the bomb plant, so you get a little giddy and you want to maybe kill the bomb planter, but nine times out of 10, they're planting behind LED. So not, a, not nothing you can really do. So you take that angle, you look, you wait a little bit, make sure no one's there, you clear it, all right, good. Because that's the only thing that can kill you, right? Then, let's see if I can do this. This is the next angle you take. Okay? So you're only shooting at, like, look, look how much better this looks than here, right? Because yeah. you're shielded from this part right here, and you've already cleared here, kind of, right? You've already uh, entertained the possibility of them being there. So now you safely take this 1v1 from Ray's far away, and she can only look at you. And then you peek this, and peek that, right? So there got to be methodical about it and not, this is a wide swing. Very dangerous, very risky, and nine times out of ten, she's gonna have backup peeking from here, and here. But it's it's amazing that you found this one v one with four people alive. Yeah, I uh, insane to me. That no one comes out and kills you. Turned out good. You want it, um, but you understand why it was risky. Yeah. Same scenario. Right? So, you're now forced to watch two angles. Impossible. Not impossible, but you, now you have to rely on flicking to whatever you're not watching. And flicking is inconsistent. You, it obviously can still be practiced, but it's nowhere near as consistent as crosshair placement and shooting. So yep. don't put yourself in situations where you have to take these inconsistent shots. So, and it actually does happen to where they peek you from an angle you are exposed to, but you're not actually watching. Last player standing. Angle's good, right? Why is it good? Peeking, the only thing that can kill you. Where will they go this time? Alright. Fucking hate split. It's quite okay. <laughs> God, I hate yeah. it. Yeah. It's just so rough. Smoke's down. This smoke, smoke on B. Nothing. Yeah, it's hardpoint B. It's a really weird smoke from them. I'm running, I'm running. Yeah, I think they missed the heaven smoke. Oh, yeah, for sure they did. Spike planted. Not bad, I mean, like, you just had a pistol, not much you could do. Um, but, why is this a, you kill him? Why is this a good peek, right? Only visible to what, you're only checking corners of stuff that, fuck, you're only peeking what can kill you, right? Yeah. So, and, if, if you had a assault rifle, maybe you get this collateral, maybe you get this double spray down. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, I took out one. I tricked. 
Enemy spotted. One trash. Spike planted. Out of nice. here. I like that. I like that. Now look at this. This is exactly what you want to see, right? You got. You're not pushing into the site. You didn't do some monkey play that you tried to take the site by yourself. You you peeked a little. You did a safe peek. You see what you can got. You backed off because they knew where you were. So you're faking the rotation to heaven because of the dart. And now you go back with a teammate, ready to trade frag, attacking using your numbers against them not necessarily you have to you don't have to push the same spot with all three of your teammates but you know how much better this is than you just pushing in by yourself a million times better and one's uh, Phoenix, Phoenix is, ramp. is playing ramp Joke's over. but you have to go with him you see how he's moving forward and you're standing still yeah this is considered baiting you're not doing it on purpose but this is a um, this is a bait. Because imagine if Cypher, uh, he, Cypher dies right here. Are you able to get the trade frag? No, you're so far away. No. You're so far away. You're not actually playing with him. And that's the difference. Yeah, I think right before this, there was the call out that Phoenix was on oh, ramp. Oh, so you're just... Down. Yep, and so you're just pretty worried about it. But you can still watch that while moving forward, forward with right. him. Nice. And so, like, as so here, uh, I would start walking with him, moving forward. He's looking at the threat, and you're looking at this threat, but you're slowly inching up the whole time with him. Right. Okay. She's playing Graham. Cause it's good. It's good that you're watching his back. Good. One enemy remains. See, but that that just needs to be a little quicker. So you're not Last like baiting him. Right Cover his back for you, defuses. Watch out. Insane. Nice. You're nuts. That was good. It was a little. It was a little risky peeking him, because why? It's a one v one, right? Right. Yeah. It's a complete one v one. What utility do you have, to? completely avoid this <laughs> yeah interaction quite quite a bit quite a bit so you could have smoked it you could have mollied it while your teammates diffusing the whole time you don't want to give the op the opportunity for your opponent to get a highlight reel on you right because how many times have you lost like 1v3 clutches and you're like oh my god how did we lose that right so it's it's only possible if you give them the window to do it now, it wasn't likely that he was going to win that round, but you still play as if it's possible. Don't take risky fights for no reason when you have the utility to completely shut him out smartly. Yeah. Right. This Solid. is where you don't need to rely on raw aim. You don't need to kill people to outplay them. You guys call it out? Can you say A or B? Because if you smoked it out, right, if you smoked out here and you mollied it there is no difference between a you and a valorant rank player right now if you smoke that and molly that you could be a valorant ranked brimstone right but if you take that gunfight and you lose you just put your team in a worse situation Wait, did you say BRB? No, I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. I was about... Alright. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're good, you're good. When you say so, yeah. here, I have to look at the map. I was all... Always try to play advantageously and smartly. This short, uh, wait, so I'm gonna see uh, if I shut that Phoenix up. Good. No one A. Smoke's down. Mm. I hear him, I hear him. Yeah. There's smoke speed. So you shouldn't really have to smoke this for Cypher. Cypher can lock this down completely by himself. He has so much utility and so many tools to 
actually hold this by yourself. If uh, the best best brimstone players will watch mid, and they'll smoke this at the beginning, and um, go through all three of their smokes right at mid, because this is actually what yeah. you're watching, right? Cypher's yeah, watching our, uh, in in this game, the sage has been walling mid every round, okay. so. If if they start to break the wall, then I'll drop a smoke okay. there. Yeah. But otherwise, smart. I've been I was just kind of like watching long for cipher. Okay, that's that's smart. Um, you could you could hold on to your um smokes here. Uh, maybe if you hear them st like if you're playing right here and you hear them stomping through here, maybe you can drop a smoke here. But um, preemptively, it's not really needed, and it's better for you to like hold on to it in that situation. Cause, cool. Because you have a job to do, right? You have to hold mid. If they break your, if they break the stuff, you're gonna want to have the utility to watch your section of the map. That is your duty. Okay. Wait. A. They backed off. Grim backed off. Grim backed off. Smoke down. Oh, uh, I, I think it's B. B. I think it's B. It's B. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's Don't just kind of frantic calls from your team sending you back and forth. Not really your fault too much because you want to be proactive with your rotates, and most of the time people don't get that sneaky with their pushes. So yeah, they're just they were just screaming a a a help help, and then you run over it, and then they're like it's b it's b it's b help help. <laughs> so yeah, not really your fault. Rubber rubber oh, banding in between. Sky. So there, so like you saw that um, you got into this crouching stance of um, the, the default, the mentality in your head is to crouch and start going to work. But um, you could have easily got headshotted here by the Sage. Um, burst, you know, tap, tap, burst, a uh, move, 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 tap, move, tap. And yeah. that, it's just a safer thing. I, I, I like to play, but it's just your movement and how you... Your, your firing was fine, it's just your movement led you vulnerable. So let's see, this is good. They're walking into a trap right now. This, they should not win this at all. One enemy remaining. It's good, it's good. Did 78 to him. Should be easy clean up here. Nice. Is Brim at A? He tried to bait so us. Breach, so is Breach. Yeah, it's, I think okay, so. Okay, I'm at the. No, that's. Yeah. I killed one. When the little grab an orb, I need to heal. Molly! From heaven, come peek me. For you. Good shit. Sorry, go back, back. To B. go back to B. Yeah, uh, Cypher, go back B. You there? They have no smokes. Cypher AFK? I think so. No, he's back. Go back to B, Cypher. I was watching my cameras. Yeah, they're on B. Smokes oh, down. I'm saying it. Man, these A calls are whack. Yeah. Oh, man. And like after after doing that twice, I'd be like, all right, I'm only going A if I see bomb or they're like on site, right? See bomb over there. Cause this is throwing me for a loop. Brim was playing over here last time. For this round. Thirty seconds left. I'm sneaking around on Sova. They have no time. The only play is to go B. Ten seconds left. Yeah, I die right here, unfortunately. Oh! Last player standing. But you still win. We win. Yeah, yeah we got the line. I don't think they can plant. Yep. Clutch. Nice. Nice. A little unlucky there. You guys kind of put all your eggs into one basket. Um, you know, all watching the same stuff. Yeah, I think. Yeah, looking at it now, that's. It's like we had two people watching that angle. Why do we need three? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So like. Ten seconds. Mid was wide open. Like you have to maybe entertain the possibility that they could be like give it a little peek, right? Peek it and then you could go back to watch and be main.
but like the way Sage was playing, she wasn't really playing with you. She's hiding in sight, and that's not necessarily too bad because the timer's going down, and the only win condition they have is either killing all of you guys or planting. So hiding in the situation is pretty good. Me seeing nine seconds left, I'm running CT or getting into like a super safe spot, not trying to make myself get picked off here. Seconds Unfortunate. Left. Yeah. This was just the kind of a timing thing. And just forgetting Wait, about parts of the map that are open. Tunnel visioning, really. Need yeah. Damn, you got Not too bad. Silver dart, eh? And they smoked. They're coming, they're coming here. I hear running. Off your feet! Prepare yeah. for hellfire! Smoke down. Go once, man. Yeah, they're all A. Molly! Silver 78. Spike here. Sorry, bro. Smoke's down. Come on, let's go. Halting. Watch ramps for me. One playing elbow. One enemy remaining. On site said. Last guy's ramp. Watch my, watch my elbow. I like this. Oh, I'm dead. You know exactly what the objective is. My, never mind. And you He's know that you just have to watch this bomb here. Sage, give it, hit him with the heal. Alright, if you. If yeah, it's. Sorry, good. If he He's peeks right down. here, right where he's shooting, right? You know. Kneecaps. Shit, try. Shit. I can't see your guy. For you, friends. Keep using my vision to your advantage. But you're not. You're not playing bad at all, right? Top fragging for your team. Playing well, doing good stuff, smart stuff. Yeah, it's just. It, even when I'm playing like this, sometimes I'm still losing games. So you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And. And, and we see how some of the things, if you would have done differently, would have translated to actual round wins. Yeah, definitely. Like, directly round yep. wins. Yep. Molly. Okay, so I heard them chipping up the wall here. Okay. A little risky. I heard him too. Sure. Smoke's down. It's a good re-smoke. I'm walling for healing. Enemy spotted. Bombs on me, bombs on spike me. Spike A, spike A, yeah, spike. There's still another one sewer. Watch out. See, this is very good. There's still right. another one. Straight. Right now you're thinking, let me get my crosshair ready for this pre-aim at this box. Here. Watch out. And this is good crosshair placement. This is great. 30. Like you have those, you have like the idea there, but it needs to expand. It needs to translate to all of the corners you're holding. Or all of the things yeah. you're looking at. Seconds left. Not just the ones I've gotten picked from before. Exactly. So... Uh, it's just it's just active thinking. Will I hear him coming up? Will fix this problem. He slash. I killed nice. him. <laughs> Another one. He's hopping. It's a good little sneaky play. Uh, I got they have ten seconds. They have, no they have no time. They have no time. Ten seconds left. Last player. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Run! Run! Good shit. Clutch. Nice. Hello. I need this. My thanks. Man, smoke's down. Walking up. Or not mid. Don't rotate. Can you check if he's here? I'm gonna flash here. Joke's over! You're dead! Smoke's down! Beam? Yo, it's B, it's B, it's B. 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 Smoke's down! Okay, Shit, someone's down. Uh... <sighs> Shit, someone's down. Uh... That's just a, you know, that's a, that's a crosshair placement battle that you've lost. Because you, yeah. you shot her first, right? Yeah. Right on her chest. If you shot her first in the she head, someone's done. she wouldn't have even done a single damage to you. Uh. Yeah, you had better reaction, and 
you shot her it's just a tiny little micro adjustment would have mean you got the headshot instead of she also Solid. um smokes uh you want your smokes to line up with walls yeah so the reason why i smoked further out was because they were already in tunnel when okay. i caught vision of them so i figured if i caught them block the exit from tunnel but also maybe catch them in the smoke it might slow them down okay that's 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 not a bad that's not a bad idea um if you wanted to do something like that maybe smoking up here oops smoking up here would be a little better okay right so then they're having to walk through that and your cypher can do something from it but um i i understand where you're coming from but this is the difference between this is a walkout smoke for them walkout sm smokes are good for them because um, the reason is because when they throw it, they can come out of so many different angles out of your smoke that it makes Got it you. unpredictable. But okay. if you smoke where the wall meets, the only place they can still come out of is here. And they're at a disadvantage because they're coming out of the smoke but only from one direction. You won't be surprised. So like, let's say you're smoking CT. Let's say you're attacking, right? You all push B main and you drop your smokes. Your smoke's right here. Okay, instead of tucked into the hallway and um, lined up with this wall. How many different spots can they come out from this smoke in CT? They can... They can be a little sneaky. They can go through here. Or... Oh shit. They can go... It's hard to do this. Here. 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 So many different options, right? They can play behind the smoke and go in this little cubby and there's so many... That creates a walkout smoke. You want to avoid creating walkout smokes for the enemy team. Line them cool, up with yeah. the walls. Never really thought of that. Yep, it's a big, uh, it's a big thing from CS:GO that you learn. Cause like, this is a smoke you would throw. You would actually want this if you're pushing B. This is a good offensive smoke. It you walkout smokes are great. But that's a whole nother lesson in its own. Someone's flanking from A site. Uh, Watch out. B, flanking B. Spike planted. Rim is A site. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. I heard I got an R2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's 2B. A lot better. So, you do do it, but now you understand why it's better. Right. Right. So I'm you understand the, um, the advantages. Oh, okay. Dude, 62 under heaven. Holly. I think you guys call it hell or something. I don't know. Because the second they exit the smoke, they're out in the open. From heaven, from here, from here, from here, they're screwed. No cover. Up ramps with an op. I think they split. This is usually a clear cut save. Right. 5v2 bombs down. Shitty situation right here. I'm I'm calling. Let's just save. 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 Yeah, yeah. Look over this ring. Last player. Unfortunate. Especially because you guys' economy is pretty shit. Um, 
it's loading. What the heck? Can you still hear me? Is my internet alright? Alright, well, we've uh, had some internet issues and we decided to cut the uh, coaching session there. Um, but these are the notes from that section, I mean the session. Uh, you can pause it here and um, go over them again. Thanks everyone.